Afternoon guys. So what we're looking at is some custom gear. Now this is the Camelback that I've been wearing for years. And much like a traditional Camelback, it made to hold a little bladder. But the neat thing that this had on it was this covered piece right here. So the tube fit inside this cover. So when I was picking up in Galveston, that worked out really good to keep you from getting sand and all that on there as you go. But up here, I really didn't need that. Especially since I changed out the bottle to... Well, instead of having the traditional plastic bladder, I'm now using the stainless steel memo bottle. So I want to find something a little bit better. And, you know how it is, you find something. Now, this thing, you get this off Amazon, it's like 40 bucks, but it's a small pack. It's obviously got Molly attachments all over it. And it fits my water bottle just about perfect, which is awesome. The problem you have here is that this pack is really meant to go on like a like a, a tactical vest you know so you attach it to the vest directly that's why the straps here are really half you know, you know they're not the best i got these separately and put them on there and they work pretty good but the bigger issue is that the back of it there's no padding now the green part i put on there but you can see underneath there it has molly connectors that go all the way down because you're just supposed to attach it to a uh, you know standard like tactical pack. I saw a company out there. I think it's called Vantech, but they make a mesh that goes on uh, like between hiking packs in your back to give you better ventilation on there. And I had some TPU, so I thought you know what I'll just make one for a molly system and be good to go. And this is actually not too bad. You can see it flexes really easy. It's only three millimeter thick TPU, and comfort wise, it's pretty good. I haven't had a chance to actually try it in the field yet, but I got high hopes. You can see it right here. You see it flexing right there. It it does not feel bad at all. I bend over, whatnot. It just it feels like there's just a well a, a grid on your back. Now. If this means that after walking several miles, I'm going to have problems with this, I don't know. I won't know until we get a chance to try it. But I needed to get rid of that little pouch on the side because I need to be able to attach these Peak Design uh, adapters on both sides. I have one for the pouch that I carry on this side. But on this side over here, since I'm going to be using that 360 camera, it attaches just like so and then just hangs off. You know what? I say that and then I don't I'm not able to attach it. There you go. It just snaps in place. That way that camera's just hanging off right there. And as I'm walking, I can just give it the voice commands, you know, start recording, stop recording, and make the videos without having to stop. I tested this yesterday and it works phenomenal. I did uh, about two miles, recorded around 30 clips, averaging around a minute to a minute and a half. Still 73% battery on that, running at the 5.7K option. So haven't done it on 8K yet, but it didn't get hot, and it ran just fine. So I got high hopes for this one. Anyway, back to making the old uh, custom equipment, you know. Need stuff that's going to work. Need stuff that's going to last for in the long run. Here we have the initial version of this. Simple two Molly adapters that went through there. And then we have the little grid. This one sticks out a bit further. And this one's already glued in place. I haven't glued the one that I actually have on here yet, but I'll definitely get that done. And you can see on this version, what we have is the, the Molly adapters go all the way through. They are two pieces, the same length, and then they're screwed together here in the middle, like so. And then this, obviously, this grid is all the way across. So what I need to do is go through here and put a little bit of super glue in the points that this thing connects in, and I think we'll be good to go. It's always better, it's always better to make you know custom tools for what you're doing, stuff that really works for your application if you can. I even had to remake the magnetic adapter for the grabber just because you know while this one will work great up here in Memphis, at some point I may be back on a beach again. And I may need to switch back out to the other one, so I don't really want to take that one off. I also have one on a safety vest somewhere. Anyway, 
you guys have a good day.